you had your preference, would you like to go heavyweight or light heavyweight, or you want to go back and forth? Uh, it makes no difference. As long as the fight makes sense and it helps everybody, helps the organization, helps me, I don't care. Scott, you must have a strategy bringing these guys in. Well, I mean, you know, it wasn't, uh, you know, on paper, Mike White had, had, what, 25, 30 fights. I mean, you know, he's a seasoned veteran and anything can happen in the cage. You know? But, uh, you know, in watching Mo uh, fight in Sengoku, and like I said, everybody that I talked to, my guys, uh, or people that he was training with. I was always hearing the word, you got to get this guy. You got This guy is going to be the guy for the future. So I, I started looking at some tape and I said, it's pretty good. And, you know, like I said, I feel like we got, this, uh, got the first round draft pick. I feel very lucky. Are you going to get the You know, I'll tell you, uh, that's something you have to ask him. I mean, you know, let's give the kid you know, a couple fights before we have that, that question. But uh, it's like this, if I, when I keep winning, and if Fedor keeps winning, you know, that's if he gets past my boy Fabrice show, you know what I'm saying? And uh, O'Ream or whoever, then I'd, I'd like the chance at him, you know, maybe. I'd fight him in heavyweight. It's what up with me. Regarding the Panthers, do you prefer the Japanese ring girls or the American girls? <laughs> you, know, you know what? It doesn't matter as long as they're on beat and these girls, you know, they were pretty good. They're on beat. They did thing. They, had legs. they were good. Now, in Kansas City, them girls were subpar and I had a fire. Uh, your personality is a big part of your fights. Some people have compared you to Rampage Jackson. Would you be interested in fighting him, maybe putting the crown up against the chain? <laughs> well, um, the he better get a bunch of chains and paint them gold or something because. I got, you see that? You see the change? Like, nah, my stuff is way, you know, way better than that. And as far as Rampage is concerned, man, he better try Strike Force. You know what I'm saying? If he wants to see me, he better come to Strike Force and we can make it happen. But as far as, you know, him, I, I'm not worried about him. I'm just worried about what Strike Force has to offer me, and that's it. How many fights do you have on your contract? Well, you know what? That's a question that. Uh, <laughs> but he he's got quite a bit. No, I mean, when I said earlier, when I said strategy, I'm just I'm just thinking that you're putting together a bunch of guys that you plan. Sure. To, you know, I mean, I think I think the fight that makes the most sense for Mo, you know, maybe after another fight or so, is to have uh, the Gegard Musashi fight, and then uh, you know maybe Dan at that point, but. And we're going to be bringing other guys in. I mean, you know, it's not, this isn't going to stop. Up stop. We're going to keep bringing more guys in and, and high-level guys, and we're going to keep moving this bus forward. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much.